So when I hear a mom that just got a recent diagnosis or that's having problems with the school, I always share a little piece of whatever I'm going through with Angel because we're still on our journey together. Pues es un niño muy hermoso y este y pues la verdad yo a veces me siento pues como en una burbuja porque no sé cómo ayudarlo a él. Esto es mi primera experiencia. No sabía yo de esto que él estaba pasando. I started noticing that Angel had delays around the age of two and it was because he wouldn't talk. Maybe you should just ask his pediatrician. And I was told maybe I just needed parenting classes. I remember that day after I got my after visit summary, one of the problems listed, it said teenage mother. And I just began to cry and cry and cry. And I was like, why is it such a problem? In my heart, I knew like, no, like it can't just be this, but I had all these professionals and all my family telling me, no, it's just you. It was hard. <laughs> there, this moment that I feel like finally somebody listened to me, it was when Angel was four. The teacher who evaluated him was the first person who was like, I see what you see. I cried. <laughs> the day that he got diagnosed, I just knew that day. I felt it. He was diagnosed on the autism spectrum and anxiety disorder. No se le, no se nada. Mis compañeros van a burlar de mí. O sea, yo me siento mal oír sus palabras de él, pero yo digo sí. Pero sí vas a aprender, aunque estés grande, pero vas a aprender. Yo iba a encontrar la ayuda con ella. When I had these talks with the pediatrician, he would always tell me like, oh, maybe you should connect with parents, helping parents, and they'll help you. I had gone on the website and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna give it a chance. They were able to send me a whole lot of resources. Me dijo que me iba a ayudar a agarrar un programa de padres ayudando a padres, donde yo me iba a sentir tranquila y apoyada por mí para mi niño. And then I saw an ad for a job posting. I've been so misinformed about so many things, and I could have been getting Angel so much more support if I would have just put my pride aside and I would have just called and spoken to somebody and told them what was going on. Y cuando Miriam me contactó, yo la, la fui a ver y yo me sentí cuando ella empezó a platicar conmigo como que sí me iban a ayudar a ella, que en realidad. Then when I say I'm going to do at least like this one thing, I'm just like, okay, the stress, the anxiety, that everything was worth it. Que la encontré y me apoyó y me está apoyando por mi niño. Y me siento apoyada porque ella ha hablado conmigo y cuando ella habla conmigo yo me quedo en paz, me quedo tranquila. Porque yo decía, ah, ¿qué voy a hacer yo sola con mi hijo? ¿Quién me va a ayudar? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I'm talking to the parents, that's what I am, I'm a parent. I don't really look at it like it's my job title. I'm a parent and I want to help you but it's more than just the job for me. It's really getting that person whatever it is that they need. Sí, sí, entonces es realmente el, el honor es mío poderles ayudar a ustedes a encontrar, ¿verdad?, los recursos que se sí. necesitan. Te digo, yo no me abría paso sola, camino sola, porque no, no, Kevin no. es eh, mi pilar, mi luz. I always tell Angel, I don't care about anything as long as you're a good person and you help, and you give back. Yo te quiero mucho, ¿verdad, papá? Él lo siente, ¿verdad? Sí. Tú sabes que tu mami te quiere. My son saved me. My son is my best friend. He is the person that I would give up anything and everything for.